So today we're diving into a solo mission. We just landed here outside of Fort Nareth. We've got to fight through the complex and secure some documents inside the headquarters. And I want to do it to show off how I play as a solo, particularly the tactics I use, how I stay alive, the loadout I'm running, that sort of thing. I noticed a lot of you in the comments play solo, and so I thought I'd talk through how I go through one of the hardest PvE areas in the game, solo, and how we survive. So we've landed at Delta 1. My plan here is to come through this entrance, push through the tree line, and enter the headquarter building here, secure the documents, and then once we've secured the building, we can pick up any extra kills with our sniper rifle. Now you might be wondering why am I running two guns as my loadout? I like the versatility of having a sniper rifle and an assault rifle combination. Having the holographic sight means close range fights are much more comfortable, and then when I need to pick off enemies at range, we can switch, switch to the Mosin and go for those comfortable one taps. I also prefer the Mosin over the M700, I find the M700, which you get from Banshee level 1, just a little bit too unreliable. The main thing here is I'm not using the basic LPS ammo you get with the Mosin, but we're running the SR7N1 ammo. This stuff will slap, and you get it from Artisan level 2. I highly recommend it. Dropped him. Can you come in? Enemies aggroed on the gate. Let's make sure we've got ammo and our nose in. He's got he's got good armor on. Hit your shots, man. Oh, these boys do not mess around. That's why you gotta make sure you use cover. I feel like I've hit him twice. The way the AI reacts to being shot is uh I think I dropped him with that second shot. It's somewhat annoying sometimes how they react. Or don't react really. Whereas you get a heavy bleed, they get nothing. I think it's because they don't really run for cover, they just stand and take it. And then I don't think the bullets are working as intended when they hit the sh shotgun as well. Geishas are my favorite headsets, by the way, I'm running them. You can't buy them, at least not at level 2 traders. But I feel like they really improve. Okay, so the plan now is to move up through the edge of the map, follow the wall. Taking out enemies when we can. Now we need to get kills, but I'm not, I don't want to get held up in a big fight on the way in. I'd rather secure the objectives and then get in a fight and then if we die it's not the end of the world. Do we have anyone up there? Just checking for snipers. Definitely hear him in this chest there. Two taps to the chest. This guy's wearing a beret. Okay, it drops him to the chest. That was pretty clean. It's the SR2 ammo in a... Or SR ammo in action. Still got some more of that. Okay, now we've got to push into the building. It's got a suppressed... Oh, BP ammo. This is even better than what we're running. We're gonna take, see this is why running 545 is good. We'll reload this bad boy. Is this a boss, I wonder? He's got empty. Yeah, I wonder if this is the boss. The key now with situations like this is we just gotta play around cover. A lot of these large POIs don't actually offer a lot in terms of protection. So using solid cover like buildings, so we're gonna run over here. It, it actually helps a lot. And you can just kind of let the AI come to you and take them on and just be really careful. More careful than I was there with my peaks. Because, yeah, you wide peak and the AI will, will make you pay for it. The AI instantly lasered us through our armor. Took him out. BP ammo slapping. Caught him in the side. Thing with their armor is you basically can't 
Ooh, that was a bad nade throw. You can't hit them front on. You want to hit them in the side. Because that's, particularly the guys wearing the really good armor, they have no protection on the side plates. Oh. Let me run, please. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna hide in the supply closet. We're in a really bad spot. We got no. I was hoping I could get into that building on my left. I need to do surgery. Drops him. Oh, got no stamina on my arms. love when they just try and wall pen you. So even though it may seem like I'm currently in a really terrible position, actually just holding a spot like this is pretty safe against the AI, because it's pretty unlikely that they're going to rush you. Um, maybe one will, but when they walk into a room, they're pretty easy to take care of, and it's just better to play the angles. Like, I'm really trusting that they're not going to be able to pen through this metal, but I feel pretty safe right now. Let's so just take your time. There's no rush. Even taking a little damage like that, um, while it's annoying, is easy enough to fix. If I go out in the open now, it, it's certain death. I'm better off just staying in here and slowly clearing out the enemies and racking up the kills. I can't hold my breath. I need to do surgery. I'm just going to do it now and hope they don't push me. Yeah, it's doing surgery. Is, it's, it's really slow, but it's easy enough to cancel the animation with right click. And yeah, we can hear this guy's coming up close. We just cancel it and we'll, we'll deal with him and then we'll we'll get the surgery done when we've got a bit more a bit more time and space to do it. Okay, he does not care about being shot, I guess. Yeah, he's down. That guy just tanked like a whole mag. Okay, another one just died. That guy I'm mag dumped. I assumed he would probably just bleed out eventually. Yeah, hitting them in the side or the back is uh, the most effective way you can take them out. Aiming like this is so hard. Dropped him. Dropped him. Oh, this Mosin's doing work. Can't lie. How many have we taken out now? 19. I'd like to do some looting if we can. Right, I need to do surgery. I think I do it now. I've got a bit of time. I need to be able to hold my breath. Oh! semi-auto. Man, they just come out of everywhere. Now we have to go into the headquarters and clear it. I actually find clearing buildings against the AI easier than outside because you've got a lot of cover to choose from. I would just make sure you're kind of trying to focus on right-hand peaks um, when you're looking down corridors. So going into rooms that allow you to do that and just don't get yourself caught on too many angles because the AI will just pop out of corners and beam you. So that's the focus when we get inside it. They're really pissed in this building, I can tell you that much. Do I have any nades? I have nades. He's down. Oh! They're going to start rushing me now, I think. Let's get some cover in here. Okay, first document should be in here. Personal favor. All right. Lovely stuff. Just one mission. 
document completed. What am I doing with the blood level? Really low. Okay for now. Don't really want to peek that. Let's try and just bait shots there. Right, we've got to get upstairs. I take the grenade, please. It's really angry. It's actually a better AK. It's got the P2. I'm gonna loot this AK. Do a quick mod. <laughs> He's so mad. Oh, look at that. 20. Can I put that on? 8% reduction. I love when the AI is just like constantly running, yelling. What's this? What's the stats on this now? Twenty-seven percent recoil control. This thing should be an absolute laser beam. Okay. I mean, hip fire recoil was great. Just uh, a shame that he didn't care about that. What this guy have? I talked in my previous video, um, linked below, with this gun build about why I love running 545 and places like this is exactly why. I've got unlimited ammo because I can just keep harvesting it off their bodies. You could do the same with an M4, getting M M855 off a lot of them as well. But I wouldn't recommend running 762 in a place like this just because not as many of them run it. And so it can be harder and the quality of ammo is just significantly less. Wow. He's, he had the best helmet I've ever seen. In here. What? What's going on here? He was... He's blocking the door. What's the AI was literally jamming the door shut? That's mad. That, I've never seen that before. All right, that's the two objectives we needed. Uh, where did they just put it? Nice. <laughs> it absolutely smashed his armor to pieces. Right, let's, um, jeez, we run out of ammo there pretty quick. So do all this. Right, how are we doing health-wise? I wonder if I can just, if I stand next to the door, I'm guessing they can't open it. But they could just shoot through it like I did it. Right. Let's get out of here. I think we just fight back the way we came. It's a good helmet, isn't it? Let's take this. Put that up there. Alright, let's try and get out of here as quickly as we can. No need to hang here any longer. So one thing I do actually recommend is when you're leaving an objective, just call in the exfil. <laughs> That's taken us to the wrong exfil that I didn't want. I wanted the one close to us. But yeah, there's no reason to wait until you get to the LZ to call in an exfil. Do it early. It'll make your wait longer, but normally if you just walk there, by the time you get there, it's pretty much done. Saves you hanging around the LZ. 
Um, and if you're trying to get out of somewhere quickly, it gives you a, a countdown to a, to a heli being in, which can be a good way to get away from some PvP if that's necessary. So we're actually just waiting for the heli, but another guy, I, I just heard someone running in the bushes. Um, oh yeah, there's guys. Two guys, I think. Um, can we get a cheeky snipe just on the way out here? In the long grass. Can I... I don't know if I got him. That's his, that's his body there. I think that's a kill. I think that's a kill. Yeah, we dropped him. Sorry, buddy. 